MREC TV. What up? This is Tyson. Come to you once again live and direct. California by way of Jersey. Shout out to MREC. MREC Mob. And the whole Catch Rec crew. Leave some donations. Even if you got Section 8. A WIC card. EBT card. We taking all donations over here. I'm saying no shame in the game over here. Um, let's get into this title of the creator. Ego Esteem for another breakdown. Track 1. Matter of fact, hold up. Before I even get into that. This album is not a rap album. So please go into it with open mind and open ears. This is not going to bore you to death. It's not rap at all. It's more like a Basquiat painting, for say. Like, just he's in his own lane. He wants to do his own thing. Uh, I commend him for that. It's very Pharrell Williams inspired, Kanye West inspired, Ad Lib inspired. If you know who they, those people are, you get what I'm saying. This is minus the rap. So here we go. We're going to Ego Esteem. That's the first joint. Oh, and by the way, all these uh, all these joints are produced by Tyler himself. So, ego is thing. It's melodic. It's cool. Nice little trippy joint, you know, for the young kids. I think they got a uh, Carly Uchis on uh, <clears throat> on the vocals. This is more of a have a party, Percocet party, lean party. Smoke weed, chilling your parents' basement with a strobe light type music right there. It does nothing for me, but for y'all cats out there listening to it, it might do something for y'all. So, that gets a solid 2.5 right there. Let's get into track two, Earthquake. I think it's on the charts right now. It features Charlie Wilson. Anybody who's familiar with Charlie Wilson, he's from the Gap Band. You know what I'm saying? Very legendary band. Um, he carries the joint. All the way through. It was good production of beats. The singing was not the singing off key. Just like everything else was off key. Uh, Playboy Cardi was terrible. I don't know. His rap style. Everything about him is garbanzo beans. You know what I'm saying? Maybe his choke is too tight. Maybe his nut hugger skinny jeans is too tight. It's just all the way fucked up. Trash. Let's go to track three. I think. Tyler Creator is featured with Solange Knowles. She rides the beat well. Um, she's a good singer. It's creative in there a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You could definitely hear the uh, Kanye West inspiration. And that sound like he wrote it. Uh, then it got like a little 80s pop feel with Sheila E. Uh, it's a dope beat. It's, it's more like a house party joint. Well, you know what I'm saying? Roller ring joint. So, alright. I'll give that like a 2.5. So on to the next track. Track 4. Where you run from and who you chasing, Jared Carmichael. This song right here is absolutely toilet flush music. Right here, just flush it down the toilet. I don't want to say more, but I am going to say more. The blend production is all right, but everything else is trash, bro. No good. Toss it. That's going to track five. Running out of time. Frank Ocean. Vitality Creator. Trash. That's just trash. Trash. That's another one that's just trash. I don't know where they're going with this, the direction, but it's trash. No bueno over here in my book. Let's go to track six. New Magic Wand is featuring ASAP Rocky. The beat was good. It was blended. The lyrics are trash, and it's depressing. It's like I want to slit my wrist and jump and, and uh, just jump off a cliff head first into some rocks. No bueno over here. Some people might like it. I don't know. ASAP Rocky, take your man Merce with you when you jump, playboy. Because this is garbage. Let's go track number seven. Uh, boy with the gun. It's Tyler Creator. Uh, bars are subpar. It's mostly talking. Not feeling it. I don't think a lot of people will feel it. You know what I'm saying? Unless you like to be chilling in the room and talk to yourself. There you go for that. It's track eight is Puppet. It's a little cool joint. I think it's more like a poetry spoken word type, like with some bars. Uh, Kanye West didn't need to be on this, but whatever case it may be, he probably wrote it, so he probably forced his way on it. Let's go to track nine. What's good? The beats is alright. It sounds like an old uh, 
Eric B and Rockin 80s style. Like, you know, that type of music, that type of uh, beat or instrumentals, if you want to call it. So that that, that was all right. That was that was okay right there. I, you know, I'm giving I'll give him some with that. All right, that that was paying homage right there to the '80s and people who came before you, which is dope. Then you got track ten, Gone Gone, Thank You, uh, was featuring King Cruel, Mile High Club. It has like a '50s type vibe to it, like a Frankie Lyman. Uh, the beats were subpar. Delivery was trash with it, but I get what they were going with it, man. So you know what I'm saying. I like the vibe to it. So. Not too harsh on that one. So we could give that a little 1.3. I got track 11. I don't care to love you anymore. I think it's featuring Ryan Beatty. Production was good. The, cr the chorus rubs off on you a little bit. The lyrics are definitely subpar. It's definitely po uh, poetry material in a little venue. I'll give that one a mm, 1.7. Then we got track 12. Are We Still Friends featuring Pharrell Williams. It's good production, obviously, because you had Pharrell in there, you know what I'm saying? The song was chill. It was like a 60 Motown feel. I mean, that's how I feel. That was a quick breakdown of that album. I mean, again, he's... It's not a rap album. It's a, like, open your mind type album. Like, he's he's uh, exploring with new different things, old genres, new genres, and he's cohesively putting it together. Can't fault the kid for it. I think it's... Better than the DJ Khaled, absolutely. But that much better? Nah. But it, it, it's alright, though, for a young kid. You know what I'm saying? For his fifth album. That, that, you know what I'm saying? Let's give it to him. But these rappers, boys, coming out on these albums are straight doo-doo. Like, I can't. Like, it's just garbage, bruh. Man. It's, just, it's like, the, it's depressing, man. Like, these all these dudes sound the same. Ride the beat the same. Dress the same. Do the same drugs. Share the same girls, probably share the same fucking sicknesses and and dirty odds, oh, whatever, man. What well, else? My all breakdown for Ego Steam from Tyler the Creator. Please again remember to subscribe. Shout out to M Rec. Yo, M Rec, this is J Mac. Tell the fifty cent to put some butter on. Boner biscuit, man. Put some butter on this biscuit, man. Three rounds, man. Tell him beat that boy ass, man. Tell him beat him, man. You know what I'm saying? For real. Yo, no problem, Joe. This is 90, son. Shouting out to you, son. You know what I'm saying? You know, 90 people clocks, son. You know, respect all your X Rex, V Rex, all of that shit, nigga. But y'all holler back, son. I wonder if you got this number on your page, nigga, because it's the real shit, nigga. I tell you about the real shit, nigga. Y'all talking about shit? We're going to talk about shit from the early 70s, son. How we bring boom bash. How we bring all that shit. All that shit moving up to the Bronx. Fucking 90s coming through Flatbush, nigga. Scooter, alcohol, all that shit, nigga. I'm the lone survivor. 95th and Clarks and shout out to us. P. Dredd, son. Everybody know. All you guys is fucking P. Dredd. 93 point clock, sir, and then you know what you need, and what you need, and what you gotta get. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm the underground motherfucker. See, I see many come and many die, son. You know what I'm saying? And I feel happy I could be alive to hear y'all shit, what y'all talking about. You know what I'm saying? Uptown, Seth, Nicola, all that shit, nigga. Been wrong. I'm happy to be alive, yo. All back. Just touch me. Put this shit out there, and I'm screwed up. Bully. Love. All that shit from the 90s, son. You know what I'm saying? Y'all passed through, son. Remember, Bronx passed through. You know? Bronx keep on making it. Brooklyn keep on making it. Queens keep on faking. All that shit y'all talk about, nigga. It's who survived this shit. It's the landlord survivors, yo. All about, nigga. I don't know nobody want to hang up, you know what I'm saying? Nobody want to do the right thing. It's got a new, it's got a new, got a new and wreck. Yo, DJ Roy Heat, the mixtape Scarface. Uh, boss, bar these niggas to death. For that money and that power, 
niggas are toast dudes. Call me James St. Pack, wreck make ghost moves. Turning dirty money clean, yes, I'm a cash washer. Gun beat, Tommy down, bitch named Tasha. Go by the alias of Mr. Shaw Archer. Fuck niggas trying to sabotage, use an espionage. Kill a more ninja style, wearing all camouflage. Blending in the backgrounds, busting off Mac rounds. This is real street beef, nah, this ain't rap clown. Not a motherfucker in his damn game on it. This is personal, these bullets got your name on it. Peep the maneuver work, I'ma hit a shooter first. Jump in the Uber skirt, down a one way, fast and reverse. Do the shit so smooth, you think it was rehearsed. Kill your whole catalog, nigga, with a verse. This the nail in the coffin, I put you in the dirt. Got a music. Peace, world. To promote your music or promote your business by placing an ad on MREC TV, contact MREC TV promo, M R E C K T V promo at gmail.com. Peace. Oh, yeah, subscribe to MREC TV, youtube.com slash MREC TV. I'm gone. MREC. TV. Let's go.